everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be upcycling this old dresser. If you guys have been following along on my Instagram, you may have seen that I updated the matching nightstand, and I just wanted to see what it would look like, you know, do that as a little test. And then if I liked it, repeat the process on this dresser. So a lot of you guys wanted to see the process on how I did that. It is such an easy process. All I'm gonna be using for this dresser makeover is this Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the shade Linen White. I just wanted to get a really nice crisp white look, make it look a little newer, and really brighten up the piece. And then I'm just gonna be adding a matte clear top coat instead of wax on top of the chalk paint and that will really give it the durability and nice finish to it. And just like the nightstand, I'm gonna be changing out the hardware. So I went for this really simple modern look because I like the mix of these modern pieces with the old look of the dresser and I think it's gonna look really nice together. If you guys are wondering why I'm doing all this, why I'm painting all this furniture, I'm actually working on this room for like a little mini makeover. I don't think we're gonna be painting the walls in here this time, but we will be painting the furniture. So it's gonna really drastically change the space. I'm gonna be making this room into a really neutral little boys room for two little boys. So I'm really excited. We're gonna get some new pieces in here. So it's gonna be a really cool mix again of like old pieces, new pieces and really tying it all together. I feel like a lot of people can relate to makeovers like that as well because a lot of us have old pieces at home that why would we get rid of them if we can just upcycle them? So I hope this video helps you guys. It inspires you to keep your old furniture and just give it a little bit of an update. It will go such a long way. You guys will see such a big difference. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is what we're working with here. I'm definitely gonna try and modernize this piece. First of all, by removing that mirror, I think it makes it look heavy and dated. I'm also gonna try and make this piece look a lot more masculine by adding new hardware that's a lot more modern, sleek looking, and it will have that high contrast against the white paint. So this is gonna go such a long way and it's going to totally transform this piece. So the first thing I'm going to do before I get started is just remove all of the hardware. So I'm just twisting off all of the knobs and pulls so that I can get painting and everything is a clean surface so I don't have to work around these. I'm also going to be keeping these because maybe I could use them for a future project. I'm just going to organize them into little baggies so that I could keep them all together and I don't lose any pieces. Um, these could look really cool spray painted in like a gold or used for another piece of furniture so it's definitely a good idea to keep these and use them in the future. So once I'm done with the hardware I'm going to be cleaning up this dresser with just some cleaning wipes, getting in all the edges and grooves, making sure that there's no fingerprints or dust left behind and that will make for a better paint job. Next, I'm gonna be lightly sanding this dresser and this step usually is not necessary for chalk paint. Usually the chalk paint adheres to most surfaces and you don't need to sand, but I just did this just in case. There was kind of a glossy finish on this wood, so I just wanted to get rid of that a little bit so that my paint went on really smooth. If you are gonna be sanding your furniture, just make sure that you give it a nice wipe down after sanding so you get all that dust off the piece and you don't have any of that getting into your paint. So the first thing that's gonna make such a big difference is removing this mirror. So I'm just taking it away from the wall so I can get behind here to unscrew these screws. There's a few back here, but as soon as you unscrew them, the mirror pops right off and you can just take it somewhere else. So I am bringing this to the thrift store so someone else can use this hopefully and uh, the piece just looks so much better without it. So if you guys have any of those big mirrors, maybe consider taking them off. Look at the difference now. This dresser looks so much more modern already. Such an easy step. We didn't even do anything yet except for remove items and it's already looking a hundred times better. And now it's time to prep for painting. So I'm just removing all the drawers so I can paint them individually and then bring them back in later. You'll also notice that I have a tarp on the floor just to protect the carpet. And I'm gonna go around and just tape off the top part cause I'm not gonna be painting this top. So this is just gonna protect it from getting any paint on it. So now it's time to crack open this paint and I'm gonna be using this Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white. This has an ultra matte finish to it and I'm gonna be using this synthetic brush. This is what they recommend to use for chalk paint, so that's what I did. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a light layer of the first coat of paint on. The first coat of paint will end up looking very stripy, so just keep that in mind. It has a really high coverage to it, but it does show a lot of brush marks and texture so the second or third coat always looks so much better. If you're wondering why I'm using a chalk paint, it's simply because of how easy the process is. It covers the wood, it sticks to pretty much anything and everything and it's a really simple way of painting furniture because you don't have to do all the sanding and deglossing and 
all of that stuff. So this just makes it so much easier to get the job done. You just have to remember to paint in the direction of the wood grain and you'll pretty much get a great look. Again, as you can see, the first layer of paint is very stripey. You have to wait 30 minutes between each coat. So this is what it looks like with the first coat covered. It really covers the color, but again, you have to go back in and make it look all smooth. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna be starting with the drawers. So again, just repeating that same process, just painting in the direction of the grain, getting a nice even coat on there. Chalk paint is really thick, so it's a little hard to spread, or not hard, it's just it's just thicker than normal paint, um, but it really covers the wood really well. So I'm just painting around all the edges and you also don't have to take out your drawers from the dresser. I just think it's a lot easier to get in all the edges and paint around everything if they're off of the dresser. So I just did this between the bed and the dresser in a really tight space and it worked out perfectly. So after this coat's done, again, you have to wait 30 minutes to do a second coat. This is probably the longest part about the whole thing, it's just the waiting time. But after you're done waiting, you can paint your second coat on and you'll notice it goes on a lot smoother. This dresser also has a lot of tiny details to it, so I'm just getting in there with a small brush, making sure that everything is covered and looks really clean. So once I finish painting the second coat on the dresser and drawers, you're supposed to let it dry for two to four hours before doing the top coat, but it was already late for me, so I let it dry overnight really to help it harden and cure before I went in with the top coat. So this is me the next morning checking it out and this dresser just looks completely different. I'm so excited to get moving on it some more. This is what it looked like after the two coats and it's looking amazing. So the next step is the protective top coat, this matte clear finish. And this is cool because it looks really milky but it comes out crystal clear and it hardens with no gloss. So it's pretty amazing. It really maintains that chalked look and it's really easy to apply. You just put a nice coat on. You can put one coat, two coats whatever you think, but it really helps add a durable and protective finish to the dresser. So I just put it all over everything just to make sure everything is sealed. So that's pretty much it for the paint job. It's very quick and simple. You just have to let the top coat dry before you start on with the hardware. So this is a very, very easy thing to do as well. Totally transforms the piece by just changing out this hardware. This makes it look a lot more modern, masculine, and actually kind of farmhouse looking. So I'm really loving the way these turned out. Before you buy new pulls, just make sure that you measure from screw to screw to make sure that you're buying the right size. These ones were a five inch, so you just go to the store and find that measurement and there should be different varieties because every piece kind of has different measurements and you just simply screw them on. It's a very, very easy process. Anyone could really do this. It's actually even easier to change knobs because you don't even need a screwdriver. You can just twist them on and they go on very, very easily. So this makes such a big difference. If you need to update anything and you don't want to go through the painting, at least change the hardware and look at the difference it makes. And the final step to all of this is just removing the tape and really cleaning up the space, taking off the tarp from the floor and making sure we can see what it looks like in this space. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks so much better. Let's check out how far this piece has come.
Can you believe the difference it makes by just adding some paint, changing up the hardware? These pieces look like brand new pieces. I love the look of them and I feel like they're such a cool mix of modern and antique style. I love that the hardware adds that masculine modern touch on such a feminine looking piece. And I think the paint just totally cleans it up, really brightens up the whole look. And now I'm so excited to continue on with this room makeover, especially with this mirror gone. This made such a big difference. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this furniture makeover. I'm so happy with the way these turned out. It feels like I have two new pieces of furniture and it's really inspiring me to like totally make over this room now. And now I'm thinking about paint colors and what's gonna go into this space. Doing this just really inspired me and really got me going. So I really encourage you guys to keep your old pieces and just refurbish them, paint them, give them some new hardware and you'll have a completely different look. I have so much chalk paint left over, so definitely let me know if you guys wanna see more furniture makeovers. They're really fun and easy to do and I think a lot of you guys could relate to these because if you don't wanna take on painting your walls, paint your furniture over the weekend and it will totally transform your space. If you enjoyed watching today's makeover, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel. I am gonna be doing this room makeover and it's going to be so amazing, so cute. And yeah, we're already started with this furniture, so we gotta take on this whole room now. Definitely make sure you guys are here to watch that. Click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.